on a farm in Fort Calhoun. The quiet beginning of this day gives way to the sound of critters waking up. All of it about to be interrupted by the chatter of a little girl. I love doing this job. This home in Fort Calhoun is where Jasmine Goslin's adoption story and I'm heading in. takes off running. We first met Jasmine one year ago. I'm going to tell her to stop real quick. She was on a horse in a barn as part of a new story about her desire to be adopted. And I'm also, I've just got the instinct just to take that chance. Jasmine was living in foster care, asking for a family. If I know somebody I can trust, then okay, I'll get a doctor. One that really has a bunch of animals. It's like one that's pretty kind and one that actually shows a lot of care for me. Mick Goslin and his wife Beth saw that story. Beth says watching that story brought Mick to tears. You don't see him cry very much, so it was like, wow, you know, he really, he was really touched by it. The couple started foster care classes immediately, soon introducing Jasmine to their barnyard of animals including a few chickens. We have 500 chickens. This kid finally relaxing into the family. Should I just go with the flow? And has that worked out for pretty well so far? Yeah, I guess. You just go with the flow. Who told you to do that? No one, I actually just took it on myself. Jasmine, who was wishing for a home with animals and loving parents, still has a bit of disbelief that she has so much. If it goes away, I'm gonna be crying. No, it's not going away. Exactly. The Goslins doing everything they can to assure this little girl this family is forever. It's a new kind of love that, you know, you, you don't know that love for a child until you have that child. Her adoption worker now has the joy of seeing this girl who lived through a traumatic childhood now thriving. I've noticed that she's more in her element um, and she's happy. Jasmine living on the farm for nine months, officially adopted in March. I love you, Lefty. With an adopted donkey to seal the deal. So I knew I had a donkey that needed a kid, and this kid needed a donkey. In Fort Calhoun with photojournalist Adam Innes, Julie Cornell, KETV, Newswatch 7.